How to make a parametric Arabic wall screen divider in Revit. Let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. And select metric generic model. Open. Change the scale to 1 is to 10. Select reference plane. Draw a reference plane. Select this reference plane. Mirror. Dimensions. Make it equal. Dimensions. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Frame thickness. OK. Go to front elevation. Change the scale to 1 is to 10. Select this reference plane. Make a copy. Check multiple. Create a reference plane. Dimensions. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Top rail. OK. Select this dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Bottom rail. OK. Dimensions. Select this dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Style. OK. Select this dimension. Go to label. And select style. Select this dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Width. OK. Dimensions. Select the dimension. Select new parameter. Name it. Height. OK. Go to family types. Let's rearrange the parameters. Change the width to 1200 millimeters. Change the height to 1600 millimeters. Change the top rail to 100 millimeters. Change the bottom rail to 200 millimeters. Change the style to 100 millimeters. And frame thickness to 45 millimeters. Next, select new parameter. Name it pattern width. OK. Select new parameter. Name it. Pattern thickness. OK. Let's rearrange the parameters. Change the pattern thickness to 20 millimeters. Select new parameter. Name it. Quantity horizontal. Type of parameter select integer. OK. Select new parameter. Name it. Quantity vertical. 
type of parameter select integer. OK. Change quantity horizontal to 3 and quantity vertical to 4. Next. Go to pattern with formula. Type. With over quantity horizontal. Go to height formula. Type. Quantity vertical times open and close parenthesis width over quantity horizontal. Apply. OK. Next. Go to insert and select load family. Select Arabic pattern array. Leave a comment below to download the family. Open. Look for the family in the project browser. Select and drag type G in the project. Select place on work plane. Select pick. Select reference level. OK. Open view. Place the pattern. Go back to front elevation. Move or drag the pattern. Select the pattern. Go to edit type. Finish. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Pattern finish. OK. OK. Width. Associate family parameter. Select. Width. OK. Pattern thickness. Associate family parameter. Select pattern thickness. OK. Quantity. Associate family parameter. Select quantity horizontal. OK. Apply. OK. Align or type AL for shortcut. Select this reference plane. Select this edge. Lock. Select this reference plane. Select this reference. Lock. Select the pattern. Select array or type AR for shortcut. Change the quantity to 4. Start point pick here. End point pick here. Align. Select this reference plane. Select this edge. Lock. Select this reference plane. Select this reference. Lock. Select the pattern. Select the array annotation. Go to Label. And select Quantity Vertical. Now let's test the parameters. Change the Quantity Vertical to 5. Apply. Perfect. Change the Quantity Horizontal to 4. Apply. Perfect. Let's go back to the previous quantity. Apply. OK. Next. Go to Reference Level. Select a line. Select the center reference plane. Select the center reference of the family. Lock. Select the center reference plane. Select the center reference of the family. Lock. Go back to front elevation. Go to create and select extrusion. Select rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Align the profiles.
Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Push the arrow. Select a line. Align the extrusion. Go back to front elevation. Go to create and select extrusion. Select rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Align the profiles. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Push the arrow. Align the extrusion. Go back to front elevation. Select realistic. Select this element. Material. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Style finish. OK. OK. Select this element. Material. Associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Rail finish. OK. OK. Go to family types. Pattern Finish. Go to Material Browser. Go to Home and select AEC Materials. Select Metal. Select Stainless Steel Brushed and Add to Project Materials. Rename the material. Apply. OK. Rail Finish. Go to Material Browser. Go to Home and select AEC Materials. Select Wood. Select Mahogany and add to Project Material. Rename the material. Go to Appearance. Select the image. Rotate the image 90 degree. Select Done. Apply. OK. Apply. Style Finish. Associate Family Parameter. Go to Home and select AEC Materials. Select Wood. Select Mahogany and add to Project Material. Rename the material. Apply. OK. Apply. OK. Save the family. Save into the desktop. Name it. Arabic screen divider. Save the family. Uncheck always vertical. Check work plane based. Save the family. Load into project and close. Place the family. Select the Arabic screen divider. Go to edit type. Let's test the parameters. Change the width to 4 meters. And quantity horizontal to 8. Apply. OK. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.